Now, when you have the thrombocyte disorder, thrombocyte. Now, for the thrombocyte disorder, it can either be have already said the normal value. It can either be thrombocytopenia, thrombocytopenia, or it can be thrombocytosis. Is it clear? Now, thrombocytosis anything is going to result to an increase in white blood cell count, and the thing that can increase the white blood cell count simply we have malaria that is in our context. Is it clear? Malaria increase the thrombocyte count. The second thing in our context that increase the thrombocyte count we have sickle cell anemia. When you have a patient that has sickle cell anemia, you can also think that there is um, the, when you have thrombocytosis, you think of sickle cell anemia. The third thing we have other elements like myeloid leukemias the lymphoid leukemia is not going to be associated with the proliferation of the myeloid pathway so it is not going to result to thrombocytosis but instead thrombocytopenia because of the compression or the inactivation of the myeloid pathway so in this case you instead have a myeloid leukemia that is going to result to the proliferation of the the thrombocytes level you have idiopathic so too so those are the different elements that can result to high level of thrombocyte is it clear so those are the different they the myeloid can be either acute myeloid leukemia or it can be chronic myeloid leukemia. Now, for thrombocytopenia, the first thing that can result in thrombocytopenia is going to be when you have thrombocytopenia. <clears throat> The next, the first thing that you have to evaluate is that what in thrombocytopenia, the first thing that we have is that causes thrombocytopenia is systemic conditions like when there is a pool of uh, thrombocytes at the level of a part of the body it, and not all through the body. Like in the case of liver cirrhosis, the thrombocytes are stored at the level of of the the, the ascites fluid. The second element after um, thrombocytopenia, uh, after uh, for thrombocytopenia. We have idiopathic thrombotic um, thrombocytopenic purpura, is it clear? Which can result to thrombocytopenia. Idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura is also another element of thrombocytopenia where there is a thrombocytopenia without any uh, where there is a thrombocytopenia without any cause. The third one, we have thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. Is it clear? Thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura is also having low thrombocyte level. The fourth one, we have what is called disseminated intravascular coagulopathy, where there is consumptive thrombocytopenia. Is it clear? The, the thrombocytes are going to be consumed because of disseminated um, um, endometrial damage. Is it clear? So you have disseminated intravascular coagulopathy. So those are etiologies of thrombocytopenia. Now, after that is when we, a blood picture, we have different blood picture. When the blood picture is completely, when you have an increase in white, when you have a low white blood cell, a low red blood cell, and a low thrombocyte, when all of them are low, is it clear? When you have all of them are low, it is called pancytopenia. Is it clear? And they, they are different etiologies of pancytopenia. Is it clear? Now, the pancytopenia can come as a result of sensual disorders. The sensual disorder for pancytopenia, the first one we are going to have in a case of myelofibrosis. Is it clear? When the, the bone marrow has fibros. Is it clear? So, you are going to have that. The second cause of pancytopenia is when you take immunosuppression therapy. Is it clear? Immunosuppression therapy can destroy the bone marrow. Is it clear? And you have other atrogenic conditions that can result to bone marrow suppression when you take hydroxyurea. Is it clear? When you take hydroxyurea. Is it clear? The next element that can cause pancytopenia, we have aplastic anemia. Is it clear? Which is a complication that also occurs in sickle cell patient. Is it clear? The next element that occurs in pancytopenia is a myelo Tesis anemia, myelotesis anemia. Is it clear? In myelotesis anemia, there is proliferation of the or this metastasis of cancer cell into the bone marrow, resulting to the compression and malfunctioning of the bone marrow cells. Is it clear? That is when you have a picture of pancytopenia. Now you can have also pancytopenia after a blood transfusion. 
physique like say it's a peripheral fusion of pancytopenia you can have pancytopenia after a blood transfusion because when you have blood the blood in the the pack red blood cells you need when you have a pack blood um, fresh blood or pack blood general you need to know that the platelet are going to all die within seven hours is it and the the white blood cells are going to all die within 24 hours so when the patient a patient has anemia and is transfused there is going to be dilution of his blood is it clear and dilution of the blood is going to appear like a pancytopenia while the patient does not actually have the next thing is when there is also hemodilution. Hemodilution can also present as a peripheral sign of pancytopenia. Blood transfusion with other hemodilution with fluid dilution can present pancytopenia. Now we have infections also which are treated with pancytopenia, particularly miliary tuberculosis. Miliary TB can be treated with pancytopenia. It's an infection that is affecting the bone marrow, so you are going to have a pancytopenia. Opinion. We have other infections like leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis are treated with pancytopenia. Is it clear? So those are different things that can be as a big blood picture when we have the whole blood picture that is affected. Now, when the whole blood picture affected is instead high. Is it clear? When you have a whole blood picture affected that is instead high. Is it clear? You think of Milo proliferative syndromes is it like myeloproliferative syndromes when all the blood picture all of the elements the red blood cell the white blood cell the thrombocyte all of them are high you think of myeloproliferative syndrome the second thing you think of you think of myelodysplastic syndromes is it clear? Also think of myelodysplastic syndrome when all of them are high. Is it clear? As central causes. Now for peripheral causes, you think of hemo concentration. Is it clear? Like in a case where the patient is dehydrated. Is it clear? In case of hemo concentration. So those are all the elements that were involved for the thrombocyte and when there is a general change in the blood picture. So from here we say thanks for your kind attention and please just like for our channel Science Video Maker. We are very grateful. Thank you.